Okay, so there we have it. Once I got the bar in the right place, it was like a couple of hits and it came right off. So now, what we're going to try to do, you can see really how much that's bent now. We're just going to try to hit it with a hammer. If it'll straighten out as best it will, great. If it don't, we're going to heat it up at the torch and then we're going to bend it. Um, I like to use these things on the back side to hold it to get the same edge, socket, whatever you have to do to try to get that same edge so that it doesn't dip like that. And then just smack it as hard as you can. So let me, and just, just smack it that way, it's not going to hurt it. And uh, that's about it. So let me smack that around a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm just going to heat that area right there because I tried beating on it a little bit, it didn't work. Now I don't want to apply any oxygen. If, if you're not sure how to use a torch but you have it set, I do have a video of how to use them and how to set that tip. You can watch that. And so I'm not going to apply any oxygen, I'm just going to use the settling only and just heat it up a little bit and then I'm going to smack it down with a hammer. Make sure you know the location of your valve stems. Mine's right about in this area on the other side. So um, uh, that way you don't get it hot and melt it. You'll be replacing that. If you have a problem with it and you, and you melt it, just leave me a comment and I'll show you how to pop those in, even with the tire on. But anyway, so I'm going to heat this a little bit and knock it down. Okay, so I just heated it with the torch and I tapped it on the high spots. And that looks pretty smooth to me. Um, the outside we don't care a whole lot about, although it looks a heck of a lot better. Uh, it's this inside right here and how flat that sits. So um, at this point now, just to see my high spots and my low spots, I'm going to go ahead and rattle can it a little bit with some black paint. Plus this will help to cool it off a little bit quicker so I can touch it. So it actually looks pretty good right there. Yeah, it's definitely straight enough for a tire. So there you have it. The rim is all straightened, so I'll uh, I'll throw it back on now and see if uh, if it's gonna hold air, which I I have no doubts that it will. And I really didn't change <clears throat> change a lot as far as the metal being somewhere where it wasn't prior. You know, as far as the weight goes. So as long as the weights are still on it, it should be okay. But it's always good to rebalance them if you're gonna put new tires, or it's always best to put a new rim on here. But that's not what this video is all about. We're about fixing stuff, making it work for now. So. I hope this helps you out. I'm going to throw the tire back on there, and uh, that's about it. Enjoy.